Hi YouTube, it's me LaWanda, aka Queen Wonderful. I'm here, um, as you can see, my scar on my neck, or my necklace, my new necklace. Um, I've had my thyroidectomy, and I want to uh, share my story with you. Um, I will try to make this video under 10 minutes, or if I have to, I'll just do a part two, um, but I will try to do it quickly for you guys. Um, okay, first of all, I just want you to know that, <clears throat> excuse me, there I had no complications to my surgery. My surgery went well. And uh, that being said, let me just start. Um, I had my surgery at UCI, which is uh, University of California at Irvine. I think that's how you say it. In Orange, California. And um, that's in Southern California in Orange County. My surgeon's name was um, Dr. William Armstrong. And um, he is the department chair of the ENT um, department at uh, Surgeon's. Uh, surgery department chair um, at UCI. Uh, so he, him and um, his um, residents, because it is a teaching facility, they did my surgery. Um, I arrived at UCI yesterday at about um, 10 o'clock. Uh, I was scheduled to be in surgery at 12. However, um, apparently the case that uh, he had before me, uh, this, I guess this, that surgery was prolonged, so um, he wasn't able to, um, to, he was not on time. I didn't actually uh, start surgery <clears throat> until about uh, 3 o'clock, and um, I was out of surgery about close to 7, and from what I understand. I woke up in recovery room after 7. Um, I saw my husband and my children. I kissed them. They were there the whole time. And uh, they had to, the boys start school, started school today, and that was yesterday. So I kissed them goodbye. I told them to go home, you know, get prepared. Um, you know, I love them or whatever. And uh, I was in recovery room. Uh, the nursing staff at UCI rocked. Oh my God. Meaning they were awesome. Now I can tell you about your hospital stay. Yes, you know, your doctors are there to medically treat you, to patch you up, but it is the nurses that uh, carry out your care and that can either, your nursing staff can either make your hospital stay good or can make your <coughs> hospital stay bad. So I woke up and um, I was a little nauseous. So she was, uh, my recovery room nurse was quick to give, you know, she was right there with pain medications whenever I needed. I had lots of Dilaudid, IV, and uh, lots of um, Zofran, which is nausea medication. Um, and, um, you know, after a while they gave me... Um, because I hadn't had anything to eat or drink. Uh, they gave me ice chips, sips of water, and I didn't like drinking the ice. You know, it, um, the pain felt like, um, it was about a six on a scale of one to 10, and it felt like a really bad sore throat. Like, you, have, you know, you get sick and you have that, a bad sore throat. Let me get close so you guys can see my scar. I can't really extend my neck back. But there it is, right there, my little necklace. Anyway, um, so after that, I, um, I was on a clear liquid diet. It took me basically all night because, you know, with the pain medication being in the hospital, I tossed and turned a little bit, slept and woke up throughout the middle of the night because they were doing different things. Um, 
they didn't have a bed for me uh, in the step down unit. They they needed to put me in a room to where I would be on a monitor because they were doing, you know, anytime you're working with the thyroid, your heart rate and blood pressure is can be inf affected by it. Um, and so they wanted to make sure that I was okay. So they put me in, um, finally got a room about maybe one. Yeah. So, and it was okay. The only thing that I had a problem with being, um, and, um, the post anesthesia care unit or recovery room was that I was in a gurney, you know, one of those rolly, uh, beds. And that was kind of uncomfortable. So once they moved me, to um this you know the um the other room the bed was a regular hospital bed and it was comfortable uci is a beautiful hospital i don't know if i said that already it's a brand new facility um i think it was built in 2010 so it's still relatively new and um you know the rooms are very modern i had a uh, my own TV with cable, even though I bought, brought my tablet, it was suggested by another YouTuber that I bring some little comforting things with me, and I can't think of her name, but big shout out to you, um, I think you have three sevens in your name, you're part of your YouTube name, she told me to get the, um, the neck roll pillow, which I got, um, where is my little eye thing? The eye mask. She told me to get the eye mask. She told me to bring my um, my uh, tablet to watch movies because I do have um, AT&T U-verse, which you can watch TV on that. But I didn't need to because, you know, I was satisfied with uh, the channels and I really wasn't in the mood to really watch movies. I just wanted to sleep and sip... Um, Oh my God, they had the best mint tea, just plain mint tea, but it was so good on my throat. Lots of hot mint tea. So, uh, moving forward, um, I told you I didn't have any complications. The only thing was that my calcium level was a little bit low. I mean, like two points, um, two to three points. Low. I think the normal value is supposed to be 8.2, and mine was like 7.8 or something like that. So uh, he didn't treat me for that or anything like that. He just told me to, um, you know, um, once I'm discharged, to buy me some over uh, over the counter calcium because when you have Graves' disease, that that can affect your bones and different things like that. So. Um, the next morning I was able to tolerate a diet and for breakfast I had a vegetable omelet and some oatmeal which was really good considering it was hospital food lots of hot tea um, nurses were awesome let's see um, I was discharged oh before I was discharged uh, his residents came in, Dr. Armstrong's residents came in, and they put a scope through my nose to check to see if my vocal cords were working, and which they are. Um, if you can look at my uh, my little necklace, I don't want to call it a scar. Uh, you can see that there are no sutures or staples or jerry strips. This is glue. I guess it's similar, well, maybe not similar. You know, like you take your uh, dog to the vet and they have, um, it's spayed or neutered, they put the glue on them. Well, I guess it's similar. Maybe not the same thing, but similar. It's supposed to dissolve. I'm told to put Neosporin on it. Uh, uh, he sent me home with um, liquid pain medications and uh, some Synthroid which um, I got the actual Synthroid, not the level Throxin or uh, the synthetic form because of the fillers, and I'm very sensitive to medications. I specifically asked for the brand name. Uh, and that's it. I'm at home now uh, getting lots of rest. Uh, my husband went to the store, and uh, I have my peppermint tea. Mm. that feels so good to your throat so make sure you have plenty of warm fluids if you have to go go through this 
take your little um, comforts like your neck roll with you, your eye mask, and earplugs, which awesome idea, 777, whatever your name is on YouTube. <laughs> it helped a lot. Uh, you, of course, your cell phone, you know, and uh, that's about it. I will, he told me that I'll be off for about two weeks uh, recovering. I can't lift anything heavier than five pounds. It's still sore. You know, I'm on uh, liquid Tylenol with codeine. I take that every six hours for right now. Uh, as the pain level goes down, I will decrease um, the medication. And then um, he told me not to take any ibuprofen or Motrin because of you know the possible bleeding and everything I didn't need a drain uh, and that's it highly recommend it if you need, have to have a thyroidectomy done and you live in Southern California or you can get to Southern California I recommend highly my surgeon William Armstrong uh, at UCI okay God bless you and I love you all mm. Uggs mm. not too tight though because it it still hurts a little bit. Bye.